Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games there, and today I'm playing Terraria Android Edition. Now, last episode, we ended on a high note, but as soon as the episode finished, I played the game for about 15 minutes, and it went absolutely berserk. The destroyer come in, literally destroyed all of my NPCs, I had to leg it, and then I went down into the jungle, reset my world, and then when I was down in the jungle again, I managed to get two pieces of ancient cobalt, this was in the matter of about 15 to 20 minutes at the most. Literally, two pieces of Agent Cobalt. Got all of this Cobalt Ore and the uh, Mithril as well. I got one Life Fruit. I got a Wolf Fang because there's a Blood Moon. I don't know if it's still on or not. But there was a Blood Moon. And literally, this happened within the space of about, like I say, probably around, what, 15, 20 minutes? And it was insane. The Destroyer spawned on the second night in being in hard mode. It's crazy, like, the uh, mechanical bosses have a chance to spawn any night, but I was not prepared. I'd literally just hit hard mode. So what are you supposed to do in those situations? And I need to build something around my house because it is still a blood moon and NPCs are getting killed because um, when it's a blood moon, the uh, mobs can actually get into your house and, yeah, they can get into your house, which is quite bad. So I need to set up some sort of defenses. But mobs won't intentionally go for your NPCs. They uh, will when they attack the house, though. And uh, it's a blood moon. They'll intentionally go for them. But normally they leave the um, NPCs from what I saw. And they don't really do anything. So, yeah. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky on that. And they just destroy everything. But anyway, I think we should go. Really? I put torches all around my house as well. And there's still things spawning, like, in weird places. So, first off, we need to go to our Hal Forge so we can forge um, all of this ores into bars. Okay, this is going to give us 31 cobalt. That's enough to make the whole armor set. Wow. And uh, we can get about, probably about... Seven, yeah, I was gonna say four for some reason. I don't know why. So I do have two cobalt ores left, and I do have two mithril ores left. Is that the lucky number today, too? Uh, oh, we also managed to get butterfly dust as well, which is for wings. But before I get that, I need to destroy wyverns, get the uh, souls of flight, and then I can make butterfly wings, which would probably be my first pair of wings. I mean, that was just so, so lucky to just get that. This was, remember guys, this was all in the space of 15-20 minutes, and I weren't recording because it was quite late at night, and it was after I recorded the other episode, and I haven't recorded much since then, and I haven't even touched it since then just because of how lucky I was, unlucky I was being, sorry, uh, but at the same time lucky. It was just insane luck, I've got to uh, admit, <laughs> it really was. So let's go to our anvil now, and I don't know if we're going to need a stronger anvil to do this. I think we do have to to do the mithril, don't we? Oh, that's lead. Wait a minute. I think you do need the uh, next one. But anyway, I'm just going to need the cobalt breastplate. That's the only piece I'll need. Because I've got ancient cobalt helmet. Oh, no. Not deposit. I need to get that back out. There we go. So, ancient cobalt helmet. Ancient cobalt leggings. With cobalt breastplate. And I think that'll give me the whole set. Does that give me the whole set or not? Because it's cobalt, I don't think that gives me the whole set. No, the ancient don't give you. Oh, increase maximum mana by twenty. Don't really can critical hit chance. Increase maximum mana by twenty. I don't think that's gonna help out whatsoever. How much more defense did it give us? So we've got twenty-eight defense there, and if we equipped it, let's just see how uh, the defense difference. Twenty-nine defense. So we get more defense when we have the full set of armor. You know what? I'm going to keep the, the, the this full set of armor. And that cobalt was probably the worst thing I could make then. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I need a mithril or... Wait. i got mithril bars. So how am I supposed to get a mithril anvil? Pretty sure you make it a normal anvil. Because how are you supposed to make them... Am I just looking in the wrong area again? Okay, let's take one last look before we go out to add... Ocean today? That's what I was going to say. Ocean. Here we go. We can't even make an anvil, which is weird. How much mithril bars do we need for an anvil, then? Don't know. Uh, we're going to have to talk to our guide on that one. No, the guide doesn't tell you what to do on this, does he? No. Well, anyway, guys, I'll take a look at the next episode. The first thing we're going to do, though, is see if we can go to the ocean biome today and get ourselves a pirate map. Now, the reason I want a pirate map is to fight the pirate invasion. But first, I'm going to need buckets, aren't I? Yeah. 
Uh, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. My great plan will come together eventually. But I'm going to need buckets. I'm going to need some... There we go. Some buckets. I'm going to go get some lava with that. And uh, let's take a look on the map quickly. Okay, so the closest source of lava is going to be there, I think. So if we go down our corruption biome, go grab some lava. And then we'll go to the ocean biome. No, actually, we'll go to the ocean first. Then we'll come back and grab the lava. Do you reckon that'll be a good idea? I don't know. I think we're going to go grab the lava first. <laughs> I can't make my mind up. But basically, um, I built something over here. Uh, you might have saw a similar thing on my Xbox One. Oh, okay, you can't zoom in. Anyway, it's basically just like a pyramid. If you go on Happy Daisy's channel, he has tons of farms. And uh, there's this one where you can just literally AFK underneath. And what I was thinking of doing is AFK in uh, pirates until I can actually get a cutlass. Because cutlasses are really strong. Oh, this is no longer corruption, is it? It's hollowed. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're really strong. And I reckon if I get a cutlass, I'll be able to defeat the destroyer. Because cutlass is really strong against the destroyer. Just um, if I can reforge it as well to quick, that'll be awesome. Come on, let's keep going anyway. But um, yeah, if we reforge it to quick, I reckon we can actually destroy the destroyer really easily. Which is what I really want to do. Any nymphs down in? Normally I found a nymph right, like right here. I found it twice in the same world. So there's a good chance that I might find another nymph, but I am in hard mode now, so there's a less chance. Yeah, no nymph, no nymphs today. Still got the heart there, though. That's going to bring back so many memories, because that heart has just been there the whole game. And I'm just going to keep it there, because, you know, we're not going to need it now. We've got four hearts. Okay, let's just collect this uh, mithril quickly. We're going to need all the mithril we can get. I think that's the next thing up, isn't it? Uh, to get a mithril anvil. Don't know what I'm doing wrong to get the Mithra Anvil, though. Probably something really silly. Right, kids. So, the lava's just down here, from I remember rightly. Pretty sure it was, like, just there. Or, we like, just really close. We must be really close to it now. Surely. Come on. Oh, Illuminati Slime. There it is. There we go. Okay. So, let's uh, grab our buckets and grab this lava. Here we go. Let's uh, just trash this. So trash that. We've got to trash a load of things because we've got to load a bunch of rubbish on us. I also need to deposit some things in chests because I keep carrying around so much junk with me. And I've got a bad habit of doing that. I've even bought the armor with me that I'm not going to use. Derp. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it. How do you fill them up? There we go. Okay, cool. So well, let's head home now, and I don't want to burn the items, so I'm just going to do one thin layer of lava. Even though I've got seven, uh, just one thin layer will do. Here we go, let's jump up here. Shouldn't take as long to get to the ocean either, guys, so don't worry about that. As soon as we get to the ocean, we can start farming some mobs there, and then uh, hopefully we can get the pirate map. Who said a gold coin? Ooh, nice. Uh, <laughs> slimes carrying gold coins. Got some rich slimes around here. I want to see the day where I find a um, slime with a platinum coin. That'd be so cool. Okay, let's just uh, place one of these. There we go. One thin layer of lava. That'll do. That'll be enough to kill the pirates as they go in. And we can AFK at the bottom. What I'm going to do as well is trap myself in when we fight the pirates. Uh, so they can't get me. Because if I don't trap myself in, then uh, they will be able to get me. And they'll come down and just wreck me. The uh, pirate captains are probably going to be the hardest thing to kill. The reason I say that is because they are very strong. And at 1.4.1, you actually don't get the uh, pirate ship thing. So we should be okay. The pirate ships are very, very deadly. The pirate ships can be thing that can ruin traps like the one that we used. But, I mean, with, with the right materials and stuff, you can actually build a trap that is uh, made for those as well. Okay, I don't think this is going to go up. Let's go maneuver my way up. But you know what? I'm just going to mine through because it shouldn't take me too long just to mine my way through here. But anyway, guys, hope you're having a great day. And uh, comment below with what you think I should do next because I've completely forgot how to make a mithril anvil. I was... 10% sure. <laughs> no, I was, I, was, I was almost certain you make it a normal anvil. But I don't know how many bars you need. I thought it was five because a normal anvil is five. So why isn't a mithril anvil five? Is, is that more? Don't tell me there was always a chest down here that I'd never got. Really? Really, Luke? There was always a chest down here that you never got. 
Wow. What? Really? And it's got a spear in it? Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, I've missed so much when I was in a pre-hard mode. But now I'm in hard mode. I'm finding a load of different things that I missed. Oh, derplings. They can be strong. Don't particularly got to stay away from them. But you just got to keep your distance a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, we need we need to go get that part. Oh, another meteor landed. Forgot about that. I mean, we should be okay walking on it, right? Yeah, we're okay walking on it, but I, I don't trust it for a second. We need to uh, maneuver our way out of there. Could I collect it and get a space gun, I guess, but that's going to be useless for us now. Ah, oh, no. Uh, now, how are we going to be effectively mine? Or, uh, not mine, but farm these. Could I put some blocks across the top, I guess? That'd be worth doing. I mean, I, I guess. But I've only got, I've got, <laughs> I've got five blocks. What? How's this going to be any good? Right, what we need to do is we need to mine some more blocks. What's that anyway? Oh, a seashell. What? Didn't even know they were a thing. Shiitake would like to settle down. Please, Shiitake, give me some time. I will settle you down eventually. Just not right now. Not at this moment. So get rid of those. Come on, let me get rid of these. We can get all these dirt blocks. I don't think crabs count as an enemy killed. So I think you literally have to kill uh, like just normal mobs. Should be far, further enough out to try and get an enemy to attack me. I mean, if I did that, fill these buckets with water and then uh, put them on top. They would actually be attack me a little bit more. You'd know what I mean if I did it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this. Did not mean to do that, but, you know, don't really matter too much. Because if I submerge myself in water there, I believe what happens... Actually, do you have to be one more down? You might need to be one more down. Okay, so if I, search, if I put some water here, I'm pretty sure I watch Happy Days video where um, it does actually count you as in water. So mobs will come up and attack you and you can uh, basically kill them while they're not there. Okay, did they fix that maybe? I don't know. Did they fix it? Or are our enemies coming to attack me? I think they must have fixed that. Should be strong enough to kill a few anyway. We have got flippers, so we can actually do an emergency exit as well. So let's just go kill some things. Boom. Look at that. You're dead, bro. Okay, this is a really small biome. Really small. This is too small. This is way too small. Okay, so maybe maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I have to... Um, I have to maybe... Could not remember how he did it. Happy Days did this thing where he, um... Did, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it, though. Is that how you do it? No, <laughs> I've got no clue. He did this thing where he puts water above it, and then when you put the water above it, they attack you. Maybe you need to stand on the edge? Is that what I'm doing wrong? No, it can't be. It can't be. Maybe it's just because I'm not fully submerged in water. I'm not, I'm not too sure on that. Shark fins. We could use those. I'm actually going to collect those shark fins. Okay, we've got another shark coming up. Maybe another pirate map. No. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna try farm for a pirate map. And I will speak to you very soon. Get down, get down to the, to the B-side. <laughs>
So we have finally got ourselves a pyro map. That didn't actually take long. I was expecting to be there for ages. But turns out I wasn't there for very long. And I could trash some of these. I'm going to trash the recoil potion because I'm never going to use them, to be honest. They're just going to be wasted space. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go and go grab that pirate map then. We actually got that super fast. I was expected to be there for so long, but I actually wasn't. It's actually quite surprising because normally when I go for like stuff like that, it takes me hours and hours. And it took me like probably about four four minutes, maybe three minutes to do that, which wasn't very long. Hello, Meredith. How you doing? <laughs> the name. How you doing, our Meredith? How you doing? <laughs> I've got some, some right wicked names. You alright, Sammy? How you doing, Sammy? Bradley? <laughs> These are sick names. I love that. I love my NPCs. My NPC names just can't get any better. The only way they can get better is if I can get a guy called Luke, which I don't think I've ever had a guy called Luke in this game. In this, this, I mean, the Android edition of the game, having console and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down here. Um, I best get some blocks because I don't think I've got any on me. Yeah, let me just quickly mine some blocks. Okay, let's just uh, trash that. We'll trash the glow sticks as well. We've got so much rubbish on us. What I might do as well is, just in case things start to despawn, I might go grab a chest quickly and go deposit some of the stuff that I don't need uh, in some chests. So let's just uh, start depositing some stuff in the chest. There we go. Deposit that. We'll deposit that. Uh, all the ores and materials that I might use soon, I'm going to put in this chest here. Like, I've got a fast clock there, and I'm also going to put my um, other thing that I got. Yeah, it was the bandage, wasn't it? I'm not going to use my wolf fang for now. I'm also not going to use his beeswax, Pet Tifa, which is really cool to find. I'm going to put that there. Uh, might use those in the future. I don't, I don't really know. 100 pixie dust, you can get yourself some wings, and uh, we're definitely going to use the ores again. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to put my pirate map up the top, just just so that I can uh, summon it in straight away. And then I'm going to grab some blocks, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, new add some dirt somewhere. Hopefully this works, guys, and I'm not going to sit there and just uh, let you watch it all. What I'll do is I'll speed it up, so that <laughs> so you just don't have to sit through me just talking. Unless I get a really good drop, I might stop it. But, I mean, the pirate invasion has a, quite a low chance to drop anything good, to be honest. And, and we just got ourselves a slime banner. Woo! Maybe that's a good thing. But I'm actually going to make a trophy and a uh, banner room soon. So that'll be inbound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to block myself in there just in case. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, just in case something happens and they do manage to get down somehow. There we go. We're blocked in now. Let's summon it in. And I'll see you very soon.
Well, there we have it. The Porrits have been defeated. And here is my loot from one Porrit invasion. We did manage to get ourselves two Porrit staffs. Which the first one I was like, yes, I've got the Porrit staff. Second one, I was just like, what? Mind blown. I was just so happy to get these. We also got the sailor shirt, the sailor hat, which I might have equipped. Let's see what I look like. Oh, whoa. That looks a bit weird. But we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with that. Look at him. It looks so random. But we're going to roll with it, like I say. And we did actually get a couple of the uh, furniture as well. We did get one Chandalbara, if that's how you say it. And one Golden Lantern. Like I said, we did. Uh, this is my very first time using the pirate staff. I don't know if it's any better than the uh, other one that I've got. I'm pretty sure it's stronger, but I don't know how much stronger. That's 21. Uh, that uses 10, and it summons pirates to fight for you. That is not a pot. That is not what I expected. <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit bigger than that. Uh, maybe like a pirate size, not just a, a miniature size person. Yeah, uh, okay then. I was actually expecting something that could maybe, you know, a, an actual size pirate. I didn't know this little dude follows you around with an eye patch. Well, obviously there's uh, different ones, but that is so random. Like, so, so random. In my opinion, that's just weird. <laughs> He even got a little sword. He's even got a little sword. That is so cute, but at the same time, it is just weird. And I don't think it it's really any better than my imp staff. The reason I say that is because the imp staff can attack uh, range. So it's got a very, very long range of attack. And I think I'd prefer it, to be honest, over the pirate staff. Even though the pirate staff is really cool, I'm going to have to give it a miss today, guys. Okay, it wasn't that chest to put stuff in. I thought it was. Oh, is this one? Okay, we've got more Mithril Ore. So let's uh, go see if we can make this into Mithril Bars again. Here we go. I think we're going to need this one. So we've got nine Mithril Bars now. And I was pretty sure that was enough to make a Mithril Anvil. What does it take to make an Anvil then? Being there's, there's silver iron. There's mithril on here. Mithril ore, but where's the mithril anvil? That, that's, that's my question. Like, is it 10? Do I need to get 10 then? Do I need to go and get more mithril, which isn't really going to be a big problem? I mean, I can I can do that. These possessed armors are so annoying. <laughs> go away, possessed armors. How are there so many of them all night long? There's always millions of them. Okay, so let's go get ourselves some more mithril. Maybe we can get one more bar, then make the mithril anvil. Because then once we've got the mithril anvil, we can start going on to the stronger ores. And uh, making things like mithril... Mithril pickaxe and um, adamantite... Adamantite, you know. Uh, things like that. Adamantite weapons, adamantite armors. However you want to say it. If it's if, as adamantite or adamant... I don't know. <laughs> I'll just say it in such a weird way. But yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I think what might be good is to uh, farm the pirates until I do get the cutlass, though. Because I think the cutlass is going to be one of the big things that's going to uh, project me project me forwards, basically. Uh, they're strong. Got a good knockback. Very good against the destroyer, like I say. The destroyer's not such a hard boss as long as you can know how to fight it. But uh, in my case, it was a hard boss because I needed stronger armor. I had pretty weak armor. And I keep getting... I'm going to get killed now, aren't I? Nope. Okay, then I thought I was going to get killed by fall damage, but... Seems like it's... Uh, give me a second chance. Awesome. So I'm a half pirate, half meteor person at the minute. Which isn't looking bad. Okay, so we need to get this mithril right here. That would be nice to get, wouldn't it? A nice batch of it there. Okay, uh, what I need to do is... Kill this back quickly. Because we're going to get killed or else. Let's get my healing potions up here as well. Boom. Uh, we'll trash all the stuff we don't need quickly. Because that's just uh, cluttering up our inventory. Don't you just hate it when you click on something and it doesn't actually pick it up? <laughs> I say it every episode, but I do hate that. There we go. Boom. 
Now I will use one of those. Oh, so many Illuminati bats. Go away, Illuminati bats. Please. So what we need to do is we need to get the dirt on. Get this mithril. Eesh. Here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like that. There we go. We should be able to get this mithril okay now. Please don't come around and attack me. Please have mercy on me for two seconds. No, these need to have mercy on me for two seconds. There we go. They definitely won't be able to get me now. Okay, let's just uh, grab all these then. Boom, 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 boom. And we should have enough definitely to make the anvil. I'm pretty sure it's 10. If it's not 10, I might need to make it. Jake the pirate has arrived. We're going to pirate named Jake. Jake and the Neverland Pirates for the win. So we are back home now. And we can go and make our mithril. Let's just go to the... Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use a normal furnace. So I'll just use that. Yep, there we go. 13 mithril bars now, and we can finally make a mithril anvil. Just expected it was 10. Um, I was I was a bit querying it. I didn't really know if it was 10 or wasn't 10, but it was 10, and now we can put the anvil down. I'm going to put it up here as well, or should I put it down here because this is sort of... Hmm... Don't know what to do with it. I might put it up here because there's more room for it. Boom, there we go, and now we can make all the mithril things. We can make crystal bullets. What are those made out of? They made it crystal shards. Can also make cobalt. Don't think it'd be any good making any cobalt stuff now anyway. Should be okay. We can make a mana crystal, so that'll be... We can use that. It's another mana crystal. Oh, and I forgot to use the life I've had that the whole episode and I didn't use it. I'm a derp. I could have lived for a bit longer with that. What a derp. But I do think um we need to go into the jungle one episode and uh, just literally just raid the jungle. Okay, uh, the, the painter we didn't want. <laughs> what? A sale? What's that used for? He's selling the poor outfit as well. I've got 29 gold. Uh, the cannon is 25 gold. I'm so tempted just to get it. But we don't need the pirate outfit for now. And we're actually pretty, pretty, st I'm pretty stoked about this episode. This episode has been fun. I've had loads of fun killing pirates. I've been to the ocean by him. And it's just been a ton of fun. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace. It's an arch demon. Good chance of getting it. Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, I'm going to die if I don't be careful. We need to get a health potion out, which we've got. Let's pick it up. There we go. Lovely. Arch demons are probably going to be the strongest out of the lot. We've got some crystal shot. Huh? Well, you can only get those when you have the hollow. Is that a glitch? Oh, I could have sworn you can only get those when you have hollow. I am a little bit confused there. Four pistol shards from mobs in the hollow fight in hard mode.